I'm Professor Mary Murphy and with Professor Sandy Tolan, we are teaching a class at Annenberg on reporting on urban affairs with a focus on the homeless crisis spread throughout Los Angeles. Which is perhaps the biggest crisis, the biggest issue facing the city and one that USC has also embraced as a huge so-called wicked problem of the current era. In Los Angeles County, there are 58,000 homeless people and it's growing all the time. Last year, there was a 23% increase in the homeless. And we wanted to build a curriculum, but build a class around not only the problem, but potential solutions to them. We designed the curriculum based on our readings and our research and the coverage of the Los Angeles media. We wanted them to read from the perspective of the city, the police, activists. Once we got into the classroom, we asked students to develop their own proposals uh, for how they wanted to cover that. And then we ran the class basically as a newsroom workshop, and then bringing experts from a whole range of different disciplines who came in and talked to us about what they face every day. Every week we explored different issues which had to do with all the conditions of the homeless. And then we sent the students out to do lengthy and in-depth reporting. And that's where our expertise and guidance came in. Is this story going to work? Is this person going to give you access? Is this person's story reliable? Sandy Tolan and I were involved in every single step of the reporting. We went with some of the students. We organized a forum on Skid Row that involved students and the homeless and the mayor's office and the police. They spent most of the semester on Skid Row or with the homeless community around Los Angeles, writing, researching, and shooting video. And then they brought it back to the classroom. Even though they had different areas, it was a communal experience because they helped each other. Beyond the technical skills that they employed in the service of storytelling, what we wanted to do is to emphasize empathy. I mean, one of the things that everybody who does a story like this can't help but imagine is, what if I were homeless? They brought back their phone pieces, which were text, video, and digital. And they surprised us with the depth of their coverage. And all of their work is now running on the Huffington Post in a series about USC's homeless coverage. The work that they did is really the essential work of any journalist covering a complicated topic, which is you have to get on the ground. You have to show your readers that you've been there, that you are an eyewitness to this, for which we hope will prove that as a pilot project, this series is primed to go much wider than we were able to do in that first pilot class.